Hello guys, welcome to the video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I did um, that video that I made, uh, actually it, the most recent video, so it would be the one where, um, with all the Minecraft records playing at the same time. Audacity is a great program, it's free, it's really nice, um, it lets you put audio together, that's the easy part of this. Oh, by the way, I just finished school, literally 15 minutes ago. Well, 17, shut up. Yep. Okay, records. Here it is. Um, by the way, the zip folder is, uh, I'll put it in the description of this video as well, but there is a link to that. Um, so basically, so this is where you, this is where, uh, all the magic really happened. This is the fun part of putting together something like what I did with the audio or with the records. And actually, that's also what I did when I put 10,000 uh, scam pop-up messages. Okay, that's the easy part. Um, the hard part is actually getting the records. So here's why that's hard. Um, in the older versions of Minecraft, you would go into roaming.minecraft you would go right into assets or whatever the full it was probably resources actually um but you would go into resources now it's assets and you would go in and you would find all the textures you would literally just find a um like a png image of all the textures of the game and you would find um all the sound files in a .ogg format Unfortunately, that's not how it works anymore. Because after around 1.7, I think I don't maybe one maybe earlier maybe even like 1.6, they decided to stop just giving you the files, the sound files and the image files. So now they're all indexed. They're all like you have to find these are all one of these is a texture. One of these is. Who knows what? So I'm just giving random things that I can think of. Some of these are textures. Some of these are the, um, um, the actual, some of these are sound files. And so, um, you, you don't, it's not as easy as it used to be, where you can just go in, find, okay, uh, there was like a sounds folder. You would go into sounds, then you would go into records, and there would just be all the records right here with their file with uh named accordingly as to what record they were um and you could just you could select them all and drop them into audacity you can't do that anymore because now there there aren't you don't know what you're looking at anymore um so here's how you would um Here's how to change that. Here's how to actually get the audio files. Um, that's what this video is. So, um, first what you'll need to do is, so go to your app data folder. Uh, if you don't know how to get to that, go to your .minecraft folder. If you don't know how to get to that, um, what you wanted, what you would do, um, is go to go to your search and type percent app data go to that it would bring you to your roaming folder and you would just be able to find dot minecraft is usually the top but um you'll find it somewhere um so you're in your dot minecraft folder now this is where you would put like maps in saves um <clears throat> And you can find a whole bunch of other things that are that you might want to change in here, such as resource packs if you want to get some texture packs. Um, you have to know where this folder is. So this is really where all the stuff happens. So, so you go into assets, which is where the actual stuff is stored now. Objects is where they are, but we're not going there yet. So to find out, so. Obviously, by looking at these, you can't, you don't know what you're looking at, but you can find out. So, what to find out uh, what these files mean, go to indexes 
and select whichever version you played last. That's the most likely to be the correct one. Uh, whichever version you most recently played. So I'm going to select 1.10 because that's what I played most recently. And within here, uh, these are all the files. And so here, the hash, that's the actual name of the file. So this right here, so say I want to look for, um, say I want to look for records, the, the ward record, okay? If you're looking for this file, this is the hash, this is the file that you actually want to find, this name right here. So, uh, and what's really nice about this is they're categorized within the objects folder. So, um, so right here, the first two digits, the first two uh, symbols, or whatever you want to call it, I can't, the first two things are F6. That's the first, uh, that's the beginning of that. So now what you have to do is find the folder that's called F6. It's, that's, that's really easy. So there's F6, and then you need to find the rest of this. So 85021, uh, let's find 85021 right here that's that's and still I would wanna I would check that they're the same file but so what it, when it says that this folder that or that this file is means this it they're not kidding you wanna copy it paste it to wherever because if you actually change that file it might do it might mess up your game so this is the this is ward this is the actual .ogg file. So what you can literally do is, oops, what you can literally do is uh, change it to .ogg, and it will it it's the correct file. It will play. Um, now you have to have it doesn't play in Windows Media Player or any of the major thing or any of the things that come with your uh, computer. But Audacity takes that file type, so you can easily just, um, you can drop this in once it's renamed to .ogg, you can drop this in and it'll play. So, um, and that, that, and then, so what I did was I found all the hashes for all the records so I used in find I used records slash and I just kept I just looked for all of them and every time I got to one I took the hash I looked for the hash I copied it into um into my own into a new folder I made renamed it to the to whatever uh record it was and made it .ogg, and then they all worked, and they and I put them all in, and I and you're able to save it to whatever type of audio file you want, and it actually lets you make like a it makes it lets you put in the data about the file, such as the title, the author, all that. Um, so you can just save it. At, you put it in, save it as MP3, and and you can actually put that in to something like uh, Movie Maker, or and you can actually play it with your with me, uh, Windows Media Player. So, um, yeah, that's how I made that video. Uh, that's how I made the audio for that, the, the playing all the records at the same time. Audacity has a lot of features that I don't know how to use, like or that I don't use in general, like effects. It, I'm sure these effects are great, but uh, but I don't care. <laughs> I I only really um I don't use Audacity for um like making actual music. I kind of just combine noises together to make it uh for fun. 
I kind of just do it for fun. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like. Do subscribe if you have not done so already. If you have ideas for other things like that video I made, um, such as like, uh, one thing I have planned is to not is to take not just those sounds, but literally take every sound from the game and put it all into just one giant audacity project put it into one giant uh thing that just plays everything at once um i i want to do that that would take a long time because um because of what i said how um how it's not organized it's not just it's not straightforward anymore you have to find the right hash and um so so that's going to take a long time to actually get ready and put together um obviously putting it on in audacity <laughs> is fine that won't take that won't be an issue but actually um putting that together would take a long time putting all the sounds from the game into one giant thing um but I'm, I do want to do that. I want to see how that'll turn out. And bye.